What's up, VC? It is Kieran. It is I. Just wanted to share um, some records and some experiences. So, Montreal Jazz Fest wrapped up yesterday, and I didn't get the chance to go out to any of the free shows really. Um, that's not true. The I went to the closing show, which I'll tell you about, and I went to one paid show. So if you've never been to Montreal Jazz Fest, it's definitely something worth coming town to. It's not just jazz, it's tons of different styles of music, um, from hip hop to groovy stuff, to house, to Afrobeat, uh, blues, soul. It's just like covers, spans all genres. Um, I went to see Shabaka and the Ancestors. I didn't even know they were coming. I guess I, when I browsed through quickly the people, uh, the show listings, I, I missed it. And then the day of Thursday, which was the first or second day of the festival, I think it was the first day, I um, I saw that they were coming. And I was like, oh damn, let me go see that. So I bought tickets, went with my dad actually. And so this is the LP, which I already had, Shabaka and the Ancestors. I showed this recently. Um, came out on 2016 on Brownswood Recordings, which is Giles Peterson's label. Um, same label that uh, Yusef Kamal, Black Focus, came out on. <clears throat> Another excellent release. Uh, got Shabaka to sign it, which was cool. Very, very gentle, um, genuine. Uh, man seems very kind, um, and not even just from talking to him, just from seeing his, his demeanor, his mannerisms, his smile, his energy. Um, it was really something, and the show itself was incredible. So he plays tenor sax, there was an alto sax bonus with him, a percussionist, drummer, and bassist, and it blew my mind. Did not disappoint, very uh, rhythmic, um, groovy, percussive. Uh, and also spiritual. There was a, a vocalist doing some spoken word um, type of thing as well as some singing. So the band's from South Africa. Shabak himself is from London, and it was very very moving. Um, as well as uh, the like percussive groovy backing with some like wailing um, at times free, um, very intense uh, sax playing. So. If you have a chance to see them, them live, I encourage you to, and I, if not, well, either way, definitely check out the music online if you can get your hands on a copy of the LP, which is not the easiest to do, highly recommend it. I actually don't think I ever showed this, what we're listening to, and you guys probably already know this. I got this as soon as it came out. This is uh, Ecstatic Music of Alice Coltrane. Um, I don't remember if I showed it, but really really enjoy this gonna get a lot of play out of this i don't need to really tell you <clears throat> about it i don't think but anyways compilation of uh the stuff she released on cassette and sold only at her ashram in the later part of the 70s and 80s and i believe early 90s as well so this is your type of thing you will enjoy that very moving um, so they always have a free, um, Jazz Fest is about nine days, normally starts like on a Thursday and goes a week and then ends on the Saturday or Sunday. And they always have a big free show uh, to close it off. So there's free shows throughout every day, there's tons and tons of free shows. Um, some great artists. And they always have like a, a bigger name artist kind of close it out with the free show and there's tons of people. Um, I can't remember that many of them to be honest. I think I know Stevie Wonder was one at the 30th anniversary, and Ben Harper was another. I think Diana Krall one year. Um, so last night was Anderson Pack and the Free Nationals. Um, I actually also never showed this. This is a record I picked up a while ago. Um, really, really enjoy this. I don't buy too many of these like new releases um, but I this is the one that I really enjoyed so if you're into like mod, more modern soul um, R&B and hip-hop uh, this is cool definitely not for all of you guys I know that watch this channel um, but I definitely uh, dig it as some a fan of hip-hop and someone who doesn't listen to too much um, new hip-hop 
but there's, you know, production by uh, Mad Libs on here, you have Ninth Wonder, um, you have uh, Quali featured, BJ the Chicago Kid, High Tech Production, um, Anderson Pack himself is a drummer. So there was a ton of people at the show, as always, a lot of young kids. Uh, but yeah, still quite enjoyable. Very, very, uh, put on a, a great show. Uh, very, a lot of showmanship, a lot of lights, because it was, you know, the big closing show, but I would have loved to see him in a small venue. Um, the other one that I didn't show along the lines of modern and popular is this Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love, that uh, came out. I wouldn't recommend picking this up in terms of the actual vinyl packaging. The music itself is incredible, um, but it's really expensive for, for what it is with the, the virtual reality little kit that comes with it, which is cool, um, but I would have probably been okay with just uh, the record. Zeph, but amazing, amazing, um, modern, kind of psychedelic soul album. And I love the, the artwork as well. But yeah, the virtual reality is like kind of um, a live show mixed with some crazy stuff going on. Um, you have to use your phone to, to see it. And headphones, so it's not really related to the vinyl at all. It's completely separate. <clears throat> Okay, so that's all I saw from the Jazz Fest really was um, the Anderson Pack and the Shabaka. Um, you know, it's hard to get out during the week at night um, after work to go see some shows sometimes. Had a lot going on this week. So yeah, but it happens every year. So if ever you want to plan a trip to Montreal, uh, end of June, early July, usually last week of June, first week of July is a good time to do so. Uh, so I'm going to share the hip hop records that I got. The record store that I frequent most often. Uh, a while back I would say May, some point in early May, mid May, got a hip hop collection in. And tons of tons of, you know, 90s and 2000s hip hop, which you just don't see on used vinyl. So I grabbed some, although it's not something I collect um, too much, but it was cool to see. Uh, first one, which is actually from another record store, but I was kind of on the hip hop kick and I found this classic. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Original Canadian pressing, um, Public Enemy. I don't really need to, those of you that aren't into hip hop, you can probably turn off this video. And those of you that know hip hop, I don't really need to tell you too much about these albums because they're mostly classic and incredible. A couple singles, um, big pun, I'm not a player. The uh, the B side of this is Wishful Thinking that has, um, I think, Cool G Rap and I don't know, remember who else. Oh yeah, Be Real. Roots, one of my favorite groups, picked up 12 inch, Don't See Us, and Adrenaline. Things Fall Apart, one of my favorite albums. And this is Rascals Cash Drop, some Canadian hip hop. Um, curious if you guys know this, but yeah, Dreaded Fist. Loved that when I was in high school. Okay, LPs, run through these quick. This is one of the first kind of, I got into hip hop a bit later, I would say, not when I was really young, but around the time that this came out was when I was getting into hip hop, and this was one of the first albums that kind of did it for me. I was just blown away, um, so happy to find uh, an original of this. This is a really special album. Um, one for me because of it was like what the, when I was first getting into like discovering hip hop myself, as opposed to just like my sister playing it for me when I was young. But um, this album is a trip. Uh, a little primo production, group home, living proof. These are all original pressings. Um, so yeah, just incredible production, mid-90s, um, DJ Premier production. Another one when I was first getting to hip-hop, Dilated Peoples, The Platform. Love some of Evidence's, uh, solo work, um, that he's put out in the past, you know, 10 years. And this one and Expansion Team are... Favorites of mine, Nas, It Was Written, 
Classic on Columbia. Would have liked to have Illmatic, but I didn't see it. Um, there was definitely a bunch of, um, tons of amazing um, hip hop records that didn't even make it to the shelves, to the crates, because um, the staff was buying them up, such as uh, Mob Deep, The Infamous. Pete Rock, Soul Survivor. Listened to this a lot um, when it came out. Another one of the hip hop greats when it comes to production. Primo and Guru, Gangstar, Moment of Truth. Another favorite. I mean, there's a lot of favorite when it comes to this era of hip hop. Uh, this was actually also from another store in Montreal. Um, picked up Cool G Rap and DJ Polo, Live and Let Die, as well as um, Road to the Riches. So some early um, Cool G Rap, these are from, are they both from the 80s? No, 92 and I don't know what year this one is. But yeah, early, early 90s or late 80s. And I picked up this as well, Cool G Rap. This was from that big collection mid 90s um, with some 95 really really good production and killer MCing. this was a second pressing from 95 of this classic classic dr dre record the chronic happy to have a copy of that and that's it those are all the hip-hop lps that i added probably will not be buying any more hip-hop for a while Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone is uh, enjoying summer and that um, you're getting out to see some shows. There's always a lot of shows in the summer. So I'd be curious to hear um, what's coming through your town. I'll be back soon with a uh, jazz update because my store got a huge jazz collection in. Peace guys.